Hello everyone and welcome back to Revit Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. This video is brought to you by Tagitize, the easiest way to run tag all on multiple Revit views and sheets. Also, say goodbye to overlapping tags. Tagitize will turn this into this. Try Tagitize completely for free using the link in this video's description. Let's see today how to fix a Revit bug that can be confusing when you encounter it. It often happens when you have in your Revit model some Revit links that contain rooms. For example, I'm currently in an MEP model and have the architectural file linked in. I have turned on rooms from this link so I can select them like this. Now, let's say we want to quickly tag all of these linked rooms to clearly show the spaces served by our MEP systems. That sounds like an easy task. We can simply go to annotate, select tag all, Tick the box for Include Elements from Linked Files. Choose to generate room tags like this, and then click OK. And surprisingly, nothing seems to have happened. Fortunately, this bug is easy to fix once you know how. Let me show you the solution now, step by step. The first step is to make sure you can tag any of these rooms manually. This step is important because there can be multiple reasons preventing linked rooms from showing up in your view. If the rooms aren't visible, we of course can't tag them. So let's make sure we can tag those rooms manually as the first step to troubleshoot. To do that, let's go to Architecture, select Tag Room, and click on a random room. As you can see, I can place room tags manually, so at least that part still works. If you can't place tags like this, check your visibility and graphic settings of the view. In this window, make sure the rooms category is turned on for the active model. Also, Check the Revit Links tab. In here, check any links that contain rooms you want to tag. Their visibility settings should follow those of the active view. If you have set some custom link visibility overrides, click on Edit. Under Custom Link Visibility and Graphics, open the Model Categories tab and make sure the Rooms category is turned on. Brilliant, we can now move on to step two. Go back to Visibility and Graphics settings for the view and return to the Revit Links tab. Check the links that contain rooms you want to tag and make sure these do not have the underlay option enabled. Making a link an underlay means sending it to the background. That confuses Revit a bit, making it see rooms from underlaid links as invisible. This was why Revit failed to tag those linked rooms previously. Once you have checked and made sure no room links are set as underlay, let's run the tag all command again. Same as before, we go to Annotate, select Tag All, tick the box for Include Elements from Linked Files, choose to generate room tags like this, and then click OK. And there we go. All linked rooms in this view are now tagged. However, you can see that Revit simply tagged rooms at their location points, so we now have lots of collisions between new tags and existing elements in the view. Also, Tag All only does one view at a time. If you have several views to tag, for example, it will take lots of manual clicking and view switching to do all those views. Also, remember that you will have to disable link underlay in all the views that are affected by this setting before you can run tag all on linked rooms successfully. Even worse, you would also need to spend even more time fixing any tag that overlaps other elements manually like this. Well, the good news is we can automate all of that. The easiest way is by using a great Revit plugin called Tagitize. It allows running tag all on multiple views and sheets. Even better, it will also place these tags in the best possible layout to minimize tag collisions against other Revit elements. I have it installed already, so I'll just open it from here. If you haven't had Tagitize on your computer, simply follow the link in this video's description to get it. We can go into setting this plugin up for the best results later. For now, let me just run it on this view to show you how better it is at tagging compared to the default tag all command. First, let me enable again the underlay option for the architectural link we modified earlier. We disabled this for tag all to work as underlay confused it. For Tagitize, there's no need to flip underlay on and off anymore. The app will work even when underlay is enabled. Moving on, I will now click Tag Current View, and there we go, the app has started to work. 
it will take slightly longer to tag this view compared to tag all. But the overall time saving will be totally worth the wait because we will have a much better tag layout right from the start. All right, the tagging process is now complete. The rooms we wanted to tag have all been tagged. Even better, the app has cleverly placed tags away from background elements to make sure these tags are clearly visible. Note that some rooms are small and almost completely filled with existing objects, such as those stairwells over here. For these rooms where placing a tag inside will create too much collision, the app is smart enough to put the tags outside and enable leader lines pointing back to the rooms. That's excellent. You probably also noticed that Tagitize showed this new window at the end of the process. It lists all tags the app has created, along with a glimpse into the amount of overlap between a tag and other existing Revit elements around it. I can sort this table by the level of, of collision to bring the most overlap tags to the top, like this. This makes the tag auditing process so much easier. To see this new tag, for example, I can now double click on its row, and the app immediately shows it in my view. I can now either move it myself to clear the overlap, or click on next to have the app automatically try the next best tag position for me. After a few clicks, the tag has been moved to a much better location. I can now continue to review all other tags if necessary, but you get the idea. However, who wants to tag just one view when you can do multiple? To tag linked rooms in several views at once, let's click on Tag View Sheet Set. Here, we can select which views or sheets we want to tag. For simplicity, I'll just import an existing view set. Let's click on Import and select the set I saved earlier. There we go. All views from that set have been added to the list. I will set the app not to close each view after tagging, just so we can review the output together. Let's now click Tag Selected Views and let the app work its magic. Same as before, the app will take a bit longer to run compared to Tag All, but I'm sure we can all agree this is still much faster than running Tag All on each individual view manually. And let's not forget we get automatic prevention of tag overlaps with Tagitize, so the time saving is even greater. All right, it has done it. I can now open each of the three views added to the app earlier and can verify that all linked rooms in those views have been tagged. Super clean result as well, since no tags overlap other elements in their host rooms. Another huge advantage of Tagitize over Tag All is that it remembers your tagging preference and also greatly expands on the available tagging options. With Tag All, I need to select what I want to tag again each time I run the command. For example, we previously tagged some rooms, but now when I open Tag All again, this box for room tags isn't checked. If you have lots of views to do, re-checking this box will get tedious really quickly. Tagitize has solved this problem really well. It allows defining your tagging styles once and reusing them forever. The setup is simple too. If I click on Settings now, you can see I have set the host category to Rooms. I have also set the app to include linked rooms when processing. In the next tab, I have selected the room tag family to use. Finally, the third tab is where I specified the positions that new tags can take for rooms, areas, and spaces. We typically want tags inside or tags outside with leader lines enabled. Both have been enabled here. I have also set the leader angle for tags outside the rooms to zero. That essentially means I want the leader lines to be straight and have no elbows. There are more advanced options for more specific tagging scenarios. I'll put a link in the video description to those additional options. Feel free to check it out. And that's all there is to it. If you think Tagitize can help save you time and effort when tagging rooms or any other Revit category, simply follow the link in this video's description to get the app. If you prefer to keep using Tag All, however, just make sure the links containing rooms are not set as underlay. If you turn off link underlay to use Tag All, however, remember to turn it back on afterwards in any applicable views. If you like this lesson and want more like this every single week, make sure to subscribe to this channel now. For now, have a good day and I'll see you in the next tutorial.